What's up guys, Chad back with you on the RC Models and More channel. And today we're gonna take a look at the Katana Mavic video tray. Now, <clears throat> this is awesome if you wanna get more out of your Mavic. Uh, I had a DJI Osmo at one point and carrying it around and everything with the extra batteries and the Bluetooth connectivity or, or Wi-Fi, whichever it was, it wasn't the most practical or stable type of device. So now that with the DJI Go 4 app, we can cache sound and video uh, in the background, we can actually record with this and overlay that sound. So basically you can turn your Mavic into a handheld stabilized camcorder and which is pretty cool now how this thing works is your mavic goes in right there and your phone goes right there on top you uh, don't connect up with any cord or nothing just make sure you take all of your gimbal mounts off and everything and you're gonna actually go with the mavic and switch on the wi-fi with the little button there on the side and then you're going to be able to stream and use this just like a camcorder. So I'm going to open it up here, take a look at what we got. Dropping stuff all over. Just two pieces. We basically have the grip. And then we have the smart device holder right here which let's see that goes up and then that must lock it into yeah okay so this goes up like that and then you have a lock right there so you can't move it back so that's pretty cool and then all this does is just thread right into the bottom And then the, these unscrew right here, and the, as you unscrew them, that drops out the plate here for you to put your Mavic into, and everything falls out. And that's kind of like a rubber bumper there, so you don't scratch your Mavic. So then once you have your Mavic back in, all you would do is just screw these puppies back together. And that's it. And then you're gonna have, yeah, I want it to go that way. You can feel exactly how it's supposed to go. So let me turn that around so I don't forget. Yeah, all right, much better. So then, you know, of course you can do this kind of stuff. Now, the biggest challenge with these things and with the Osmo, the Osmo even came out with a Z axis, is getting your bobbling whenever you walk. So you wanna shoot a lot of this when you're standing still, which means you're gonna get a lot of pan shots, um, not very interesting type of stuff, but, you do have a couple things to do. First of all, you do what they call the ninja walk, which basically is exactly what it, it sounds like. You basically, you walk like a ninja. Uh, that way to try to reduce and take as much of that bounce out of your picture. You can also go on in post and stabilize the video even further if you want. So it's super windy out today. I'm not even gonna take none of my quads or nothing out to the flying field. I was planning to, but I don't wanna trash any of them. I know the Mavic can handle it, and I wanna show some people the DJI goggles out there. So we're gonna take the Katana, we're gonna do some Katana shooting out there, and some DJI goggle fun. So we'll be right back. Boom! 
couple more quick things real quick. It does come with an instruction manual in case you can't uh, figure it out. Uh, it shows you where exactly to mount the Mavic uh, for the best center of gravity, which is cool. And I got my iPhone 7 Plus on here with the mount and it feels pretty solid. I'm not worried about it falling out of there. It could be a little bit more solid, but you know, I'm shaking it pretty good and it's not moving and coming out of there. So we're off to a good start. All right, so here I am out at the flying field today, just walking around with the katana. It's a beautiful day outside. The audio didn't work out too well. Uh, that's the one thing that kind of stinks. I need to get in a I lost my iPhone lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter. So with the iPhone microphone, you're just picking up too much wind out there to do anything good. But using the tablet in Wi-Fi mode, that's the first time I ever actually switched to Mavic in the Wi-Fi mode. Everything was great. No lag, no delay. Uh, you have gimbal pitch control right there on the screen. So you can adjust that. It would be hard to get one continuous shot unless you're looking to do just some nice uh, pan shots, kind of like you see me doing like right here. It's a little touchy. You, you really got to move um, slower than you would think to actually get it to, to work. But you can see it's just very, very smooth when you're using it. If I really tried hard with a good hard ninja walk, I could probably smooth a little bit of this out. And if not, you just throw the rest of it in post, smooth it out that way. So just taking a look at the footage from the Katana and the Mavic, and I gotta say, if I, you have an Osmo, Osmo Mobile, something like that, and a Mavic, just get rid of that stuff. I mean, this thing is worth its weight in gold. I am just shocked at how great it works. Um, now, there's a few things that you have to remember. You have to take your props off. You need to go in and obviously turn on the Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi connection code for your Mavic is underneath your battery. It's right there, that's the password on the ship itself and you need to turn off your vision positioning system, all your sensors and stuff like that to make sure it doesn't flip out on you. Also, I found it is best to turn the Mavic on um, like you normally would, let the IMU calibrate and all that, and then put the Mavic into the shell so that way you don't get IMU and compass errors the whole time. But, you know, taking a look at the footage, I mean, I have to say, it's just as good as my Osmo was and way, way, way less fuss. So Polar Pro Katana, 2.7 4K camcorder, not too bad. Just need to work out that audio thing a little bit. That's it, guys. Talk to you later.